A welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of Amanita muscaria, the iconic red and white mushroom steeped in folklore, cultural symbolism and unique associations. This isn't your typical mushroom, folks. We're talking about a fungus that has captured imaginations for centuries, sparking debates and inspiring legends across the globe. We're going to peel back the layers on this mysterious mushroom, exploring its potential connections to everything from Santa Claus and flying reindeer to ancient shamanic rituals and even the very origins of Christmas itself. Buckle up, because we're about to explore some seriously mind-blowing theories and delve into the strange world of altered states of consciousness. This is a journey into the heart of what makes Amanita muscaria so captivating, so controversial, and so deeply intertwined with the human experience. So grab your thinking caps and get ready to explore the mystical, the magical, and the downright bizarre history of the Amanita muscaria mushroom. All right, uh, let's kick things off with a theory that'll really bake your noodle. The possible connection between Amanita muscaria and Santa Claus. I know what you're thinking. Santa shrooms, what's this guy talking about? But hear me out because this theory goes deep, man. First off, think about the classic Santa Claus imagery. Red and white suit, flying reindeer, magical chimney travel. Sound familiar? These colors, man, red and white, that straight up Amanita muscaria's signature look. These mushrooms, they thrive under conifer trees like your Christmas tree and reindeer, well, they're known to munch on these psychedelic shrooms. Now, think about the whole flying reindeer thing. People have been talking about reindeer acting strangely after eating Amanita muscaria for centuries. They prance around, they get all energized, some folks even say it looks like they're flying. Could this be where the whole flying reindeer idea came from? It's a trip, man. And then there's the whole chimney thing. See, in Siberian shamanic traditions, shamans would gather Amanita muscaria mushrooms, dry them out, and then deliver them as gifts by dropping them down through the, the smoke holes of people's homes. It sounds a lot like Santa delivering presents down the chimney, doesn't it? Now, I'm not saying Santa is just a dude tripping on mushrooms, but the parallels, the symbolism, it's all there. It makes you wonder if maybe, just maybe, there's something to this whole Amanita Muscaria Santa Claus connection. It's a wild theory, but hey, that's what makes this stuff so fascinating, right? Let's dive into the world of folklore, where Amanita Muscaria has been freaking people out for centuries. We're talking about those mysterious rings of mushrooms that pop up in forests, often called fairy rings or elf circles. These things have captivated imaginations for ages, inspiring tales of magic, danger and otherworldly beings. Imagine walking through the woods and stumbling upon a perfect circle of bright red and white mushrooms. It's like something out of a fairy tale, right? Well, that's exactly how people have viewed these rings for centuries. In European folklore, they were often seen as gateways to the realm of fairies and other supernatural beings. Some folks believed that fairies used these rings for their dances and revelry, while others warned that stepping inside one could transport you to the fairy realm or worse, trap you there forever. Talk about a bad trip, right? There were also stories about these rings being created by lightning strikes or even the devil himself. Whatever the explanation, one thing was clear. These rings were to be respected, even feared. You didn't mess with the fairy rings, man. Even today, there's a certain mystique surrounding these rings. Scientists might tell you they're just a natural phenomenon caused by the way fungi grow, but there's still something inherently magical about stumbling upon a perfect circle of Amanita muscaria in the middle of the woods. It's like a glimpse into another world, a reminder that there are still mysteries out there waiting to be explored. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of what makes Amanita muscaria so fascinating, its psychoactive properties. This isn't your average psychedelic experience, folks. We're talking about a mushroom that can induce profound altered states of consciousness, from vivid hallucinations and out-of-body sensations to feelings of euphoria and deep spiritual insights. The main players in this psychedelic dance are two compounds, ibotenic acid and musamol. Ibotenic acid, that's the one that'll really mess with your head, causing those intense hallucinations and sometimes some pretty gnarly side effects. Muscamol, on the other hand, is more of a mellow psychedelic, bringing on feelings of relaxation, euphoria, and dreamlike states. Now, the thing about Amanita muscaria is that the experience can be wildly unpredictable. It's not like your typical psilocybin mushroom trip. 
The effects vary depending on the dosage, the individual's body chemistry, and even the specific mushrooms themselves. Some people report feeling euphoric and connected to nature, while others experience intense nausea, disorientation, and even temporary paralysis. It's like playing psychedelic roulette, man. You never know exactly what you're gonna get. But that's part of what makes this mushroom so intriguing, so shrouded in mystery. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Shamans and spiritual seekers throughout history have used Amanita muscaria to connect with the spirit world, induce trances, and gain insights into the mysteries of life and death. It's a powerful tool, but like any powerful tool, it demands respect and caution. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to dive deep into the realm of ancient texts and mind-blowing theories. We're talking about the Soma Hypothesis, which suggests that Amanita muscaria might be the legendary plant Soma described in the ancient Hindu scriptures known as the Vedas. The Rigveda, one of the oldest and most sacred Hindu texts, praises Soma as a divine plant that bestows immortality, spiritual enlightenment, and a profound connection to the divine. It was used in religious ceremonies, offered to gods, and consumed by priests to achieve higher states of consciousness. But here's the thing. The exact identity of Soma has been a mystery for centuries. Scholars and researchers have debated its origins, proposing various plant candidates, but none have quite fit the bill like Amanita muscaria. The descriptions of Soma in the Vedas, its effects, and the rituals surrounding its use bear striking similarities to what we know about Amanita muscaria. The red color, the intoxicating effects, the spiritual insights, it all lines up. Could this humble mushroom be the key to unlocking the secrets of Soma, the ancient elixir of the gods? It's a tantalizing idea, man. To think that this mushroom, often demonized and misunderstood, might hold the key to ancient spiritual practices, and the pursuit of enlightenment is pretty mind-blowing. It just goes to show that sometimes, the most profound secrets are hidden in plain sight. Let's face it, folks, Amanita muscaria is a pop culture icon. It's that recognizable, that ingrained in our collective consciousness. From video games and cartoons to music and movies, this little red and white mushroom has been popping up everywhere, man. Think about it. Super Mario Brothers? Those power-up mushrooms that make Mario grow bigger and stronger? Yep, those are totally inspired by Amanita muscaria. And what about the caterpillar smoking a hookah in Alice in Wonderland? He's probably puffing on some dried Amanita muscaria, man. Even those adorable little blue creatures from the Smurfs? Their houses are straight up Amanita muscaria mushrooms. It's everywhere, man. And it's no wonder. The mushroom's iconic look, those bright colors, that distinctive cap, it's visually striking. It just screams psychedelic, even if you don't know anything about its effects. But beyond its visual appeal, Amanita muscaria has also become a symbol of altered states of consciousness, of exploring the boundaries of perception and reality. It's a symbol of the psychedelic experience itself. And as psychedelic culture continues to grow and evolve, so too does the presence of Amanita muscaria in art, music, and fashion. It's a reminder that the natural world, even in its most seemingly mundane forms, can hold profound beauty, mystery, and mind-altering potential. Now let's journey into the esoteric realms of alchemy and mysticism, where Manita Muscaria has long held a place of honor. We're talking about ancient traditions that sought to unlock the secrets of the universe, transmute base metals into gold, and achieve spiritual enlightenment through the exploration of hidden knowledge. Alchemists, those enigmatic figures who toiled away in their laboratories, believed that Amanita Muscaria held potent transformative properties. They saw the mushroom as a key to unlocking the mysteries of the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary substance said to grant immortality and the ability to transmute lead into gold. The mushroom's ability to induce profound altered states of consciousness, its association with the spirit world and its transformative properties made it a powerful symbol in alchemical texts and imagery. It represented the process of spiritual awakening, the death of the old self and the rebirth into a higher state of being. Mystics 
too recognized the power of Amanita Muscaria. They saw it as a tool for accessing hidden dimensions of reality, communicating with spirits and achieving spiritual enlightenment. Its ability to induce visions, trances and mystical experiences made it a valuable tool for those seeking to pierce the veil of ordinary perception. While the language of alchemy and mysticism can be cryptic and often shrouded in secrecy, one thing is clear. Amanita Muscaria held a place of profound significance in these traditions. It was a symbol of transformation, a key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe and a powerful tool for spiritual exploration. All right, folks, let's shift gears for a moment and talk about something you might not expect. Amanita Muscaria as a survival food. Yeah, you heard that right. This seemingly dangerous, potentially deadly mushroom has actually been used as a source of sustenance by cultures around the world, particularly in times of famine or scarcity. Now, before you go running out into the woods to start munching on any red and white mushroom you see, let me be clear. Amanita muscaria contains toxins that can cause serious illness or even death if not prepared properly. It's not something to mess around with. However, certain cultures, particularly in Siberia and parts of Europe, have developed methods for detoxifying Amanita muscaria, rendering it safe for consumption. These methods typically involve boiling the mushrooms multiple times, discarding the water each time, and sometimes even pickling or fermenting them to further break down the toxins. While the thought of eating a mushroom known for its hallucinogenic properties might seem strange, it's a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to adapt to even the harshest environments. It's a reminder that what might seem dangerous or even deadly in one context can become a source of sustenance and survival in another. So while I don't recommend adding Amanita muscaria to your next camping trip menu, it's fascinating to know that this seemingly otherworldly mushroom has played a role in human survival throughout history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mystical and cultural significance of Amanita muscaria. From its potential connection to Santa Claus and ancient shamanic rituals, to its role in folklore, art and even survival, this iconic mushroom continues to captivate and intrigue us. Whether you see it as a psychedelic sacrament, a symbol of magic and mystery, or simply a fascinating product of the natural world, there's no denying the profound impact Amanita muscaria has had on human culture and consciousness. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the natural world. You never know what mind-blowing discoveries await you just around the corner.